Well, I've just touched down in Launceston, Tasmania. And of course, fishing in Tasmania, fly fishing, I'm going to be targeting brown trout. Not the case. I'm actually heading to St Helens, about a two hour drive east. This time, I'm fly fishing for Mako sharks. Day for Chloe. Yeah, it is. It's shaping up to be an awesome day. So what are your thoughts? Listen, I'm thinking uh, we head out to the shelf. There's been some nice makos caught up there, so yep. I think we head up there and if we're lucky we'll, we'll set our belly trail and um, hopefully get into some nice albacore. Beautiful. Some tuna. So. so, St Helens, plenty of options, plenty of makos. Love this place. It's awesome. Go down the stairs backwards. It's a lot safer. We're on board. It's time to fish. I tell you what, I love this. It's all about the anticipation. I've seen the sea. It looks, woo! I know there's big fish out there. Bring it on. A lot of people think fishing in Tasmania is all about brown trout, but I'm here to tell you, even though the brown trout fishery is amazing, there's swordfish, bluefin tuna, marlin certain times of the year, and even big mako sharks. The other thing I love, the continental shelf, that's where Australia literally drops off. It's only about 15 miles. Plenty of other places I fish, it's 30, even 40, some place even 50, so that fishing is very, very close. And that's something you gotta love. It's a nice fish. Nice fish, look at that. That is a nice mako. Oh, there's another oh. one. Oh, tuna, there's tuna behind the mako. Everywhere. That's a good solid fish. I reckon I'm going to throw a fly in. That's a big school of tuna That's behind too. That is a good fish. Big fish, look at that. There, there, there he is. Oh, he's, eating, oh, he's eating the rope. He's eating the burly cage. I've got to pull it in. We're going to lose our cage. Okay, he's angry. I think I chuck a fly and see what we go, eh? Hey? He is one. Oh, I reckon there's another fish there. Oh, there's tuna everywhere under the boat. There's literally a school of tuna. He is angry. He's taking the cage out. Get it. Oh, here he is. He's going to look at my fly now. There's tuna. This listen. is incredible, Paul. This I'm going to let this fly strip back. There are tuna everywhere. There's a big, dirty, angry Mako cruising as well. There he is. Here he's on he the, is. Is he on the fly? He's a big fish. Yep, I think I got oh, him. Oh, he's got him. Oh, no. Oh, uh -oh. no. You all right? Yep. I got him. I got him. He's eating the fly. And that is one big fish, I've got to keep it tight. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Yes. Yes. We've got a Mako on fly, baby. Oh. <laughs> He's going to come up. Look at that reel. Look out. He's going. Oh. Oh. That's a big jump. Uh oh. oh. How's the fly? Oh. How's the fly? Oh. That's a big fish. How's the fly hanging out the corner of the jaw? Oh, oh, that is epic. The knee was an angry one. Oh, that is so cool. How's those jumps? Three massive jumps after he ate the fly, and he took about a hundred yards. Oh, those acrobatics, they are because of that massive tail and the fact that these fish have got a huge caudal peduncle, which is like the tail wrist. They just look like a 44 gallon drum that's been chopped off. And then on the end of that, they whack a tail and house those leaps of faith. You can never get enough of that stuff, seriously. I reckon his head was about 15 foot out of the water. Yeah, baby. Chloe. Yes, Paul. We've got a monster maker on fly. Do. I can't believe you're silly enough <laughs> to throw a fly at it. You know what? Sometimes you don't have to be crazy, but it definitely helps. <laughs> Is that my fly line? Yep, yeah. there's the fly line. I've got the gloves on ready to Okay, chase. now you've only got a little bit of mono. You've got, literally, you've got 
60 centimetres of single strand wire. Yep. But if we can get a tag in, that'll be the mission. Because if we don't do it soon, it could be a long day. So the setup here is actually 600 metres of 50 pound fins braid. That's my backing. And then I go to my fly line. It's a Rio, four to 600 grain line from memory. Look at that line coming off that reel. And this rod, it's a 15 weight fly rod, believe it or not. Four piece. And the reel, oh, is uh, handling itself very well at the moment. Look at that. The old behemoth by Reddington. And look, Paul, we're back right to where we started. There's our ah, burly crate. There's the crate. Now, why do you drop the crate? Uh, it's just so we don't break our trail and that we can come back and hopefully find another one in it. Nice. Are you getting any line back there, Paul? Slowly winner, mate. Excellent. Nice fish. Been on this fish for well over half an hour now. And it's been an epic battle. He's going down, he's going out, he's taken up to 300 metres in a single run. But we've just got to keep changing the tactics. And luckily, Josh has fought a lot of big fish and he knows exactly what he's got to do. And I've worked out every pump and wind, I can actually retrieve about three metres of line. Fly reels are direct drives. So you've really got to go around every turn. That's all you get. There's no multiplication, no gear ratio. So every chance I get, I'm getting every inch I can because every inch is going to be vital if we're going to stop this fish. I tell you what, no harness, no gimbal, and a very long rod. I'm working up a sweat. That's good, Josh. Looks like you're getting plenty there, back Paul. I am. We're winning, mate. We're winning. Keep that angle. Well done. I'm getting a lot of line now. I reckon I've got about 50 back on this run. Almost an hour of this fight now. The fish has come right up on the surface, which helps us a lot. So our line angle is about 45 degrees to the water. The higher he is, the lower that angle is, so to speak. The easier it is for me, because we can always use the boat to chase him down. It is coming up. Is that my fly line? Yep. Yep, yep he's 30 metres away, guys. Fly line's on the reel, people. So the fly line's back on the reel, as you can see. This fish has had up to 400 metres out at times. But I just don't want to upset him here. I can see him there in the water. I want to slowly bring him up. We're literally trying to lead this fish up to the boat. Now, Chloe, you got the tough job. I do. Okay. It's a scary job. And what you've got to remember, they're only very fine VMC hooks. Yep. You have to go fine on flies just to be able to set them. Yep. So if he goes nuts, you're going to have to dump him. Yeah, okay. Just uh, very light hands. Yep. Look how fast he's tracking 40. Like, we must be going 12 knots. Yeah, so And he's, he's just tracking, and now he's swimming away too. He's on the surface there. He's a monster fish, eh? He's a big fish, Paul. Um, he is well over 200 kids. Oh, for sure. This is just so epic. And uh, just luckily, he's staying on the surface for now. Because if he decided to go down, we got no hope. Oh, we're so close to getting this fish, Chloe, but now it's gone back down again. Hours, Paul. Is that the fight or how long it took to make the potato bake? The fight time. Seriously, that smells so good. You smell it. No, and you can't have it until oh, you get this fish. Oh, potato bake with bacon and cheese and I can smell lasagna cooking as well. There is lasagna on the way. This is my kind of food. Okay, fish is just here. Look at the size of the thing, Chloe. That is a big fish, Paul. There's your mono. Go forward, Josh. Not too much. That's it. Oh. Slow and steady. Watch out, watch out. Coming, Dumped it. No, just wait. Just wait. That's it. It's not a happy fish. You might hear lots of yelling. Things down everywhere, but there's lots of people on board here. And we're all determined to show you this fish. So, please excuse us. We're very excited. This fish is an absolute monster. And uh, the biggest mako shark that Chloe has ever lead it in her life and probably the biggest mega shark Indy's ever tagged her life so it's all about taking our time. Oops that's leader. No, I can't reach it, sorry Paul. It's alright, take your time. What's going on with the boat? Oh no. Oh, he is going. Down under the boat. Yeah, down under the boat. Reverse. Yeah, 
him and help you hold it. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. Well, that was about three hours and 40 minutes. I reckon this hook would have straightened for sure, like pressure. Um, no, it didn't. The hook actually pulled. Oh, yeah, look at that. We finally straightened it. But seriously, look at that top hook too, fully straightened. I've seen a lot of makers, Chloe, so have you. That was massive top It was just a horse. It was stonker. I'm very sad, but I'm also very excited because my back was aching. Yep. Now, that's what you call stupidity. But still, have a go, damn the consequences. Now, technically, I have to say, legal capture, because you actually got your hand on I the did. leader. I did, I actually had it twice there. On the so. tray, so technically, we caught a very big mega shark on fly and got some amazing footage and that jump, oh my god, why don't I run? Seriously, well done, Paul. that's pretty cool.